Hello guys, welcome back to Tenorshare channel. When your iPad turned into black screen suddenly, what would you do? Usually people would try to press the power button to reboot their iPad. But I guess most of you failed. Otherwise you're not watching this video now. No worries, today I'm gonna show you 3 efficient ways to fix this issue and get your iPad back without any data loss. Select the part you're interested to watch now. Now let's dive in. The first method is to charge your iPad with the original Apple Lightning cable. For some iPad users, especially some older iPad users, they may have a battery drain frequently due to a bad battery. So if your iPad suddenly turns to black screen of dead, try to charge it and wait for a while. Your iPad would have a chance to get back to life. If you're sure that your iPad battery is in a good condition, then you can try the second method. To force restart your iPad. For an iPad with home button, to force restart, you need to hold the power button and home button at the same time until the Apple logo appears. Now let's get started. Hold the home button and power button at the same time. Lose your finger when you see the Apple logo. Your iPad should get back to life. But what if you still failed? What if you tried above methods but iPad still dead? You should consider to use an iOS system repair tool to fix this issue. As black screen of death usually has something to do with an iOS system problem. The tool I'll use in today's video is called Tenorshare Reiboot, which can fix more than 150 iOS system issue without any data loss. You can go to Tenorshare.com to get this software no matter you're using Windows or Mac. When it's installed on your computer, launch it and connect your iPad to your computer. If you click on Start to use Standard Repair to fix your iPad, you will find that your iPad actually doesn't connect to computer. On Reiboot, it has listed the ways to put your iPad into recovery mode. Just follow the instruction according to your device model. When your iPad entered recovery mode successfully, let's move on to repair the iOS system. This time, your iPad is connected. So go on with the Start button. I'm pretty sure that you want to keep all your data on your iPad and just fix the system, so you need to choose standard repair. Once confirmed, click on blue button and download the latest firmware of your iPad. When the firmware is downloaded successfully, you can click start standard repair button. Reiboot will start to repair your iPad system. The whole process will take about 10 minutes, so you just wait for a while and keep the iPad connected during process. When it shows that standard repair completed, your iPad would become normal. Let's check it out. Yes, all the data are still kept on your pad. And your iPad has been updated to the latest iOS system. That's it. Okay, so this is the tutorial on how to fix iPad black screen of death. If any of them helps, don't forget to give us a thumb up. And subscribe us to get the newest solution to any iOS issues. What's your issue? Leave your comments to let us know. We will produce our next video soon. Stay tuned.